Welcome to Durham Amy's Iron Church Visionary Outreach Broadcast. Your host is Reverend Letter A. Edwards. Now, let us enter in service. And be glad This is a day That the Lord has made I will rejoice And be glad in it This is a day This is a day That the Lord Right, amen, amen, amen. Can you hear me now? Yes. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. You can as well just stand to your feet. Amen. Praise Him. Amen. For whom more blessings flow. Praise Him. For whom more blessings flow. Amen. Thank you so much. Now you hold on to it. Amen. Just turn the microphone off. We'll be just fine. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and to be glad to be in it. Amen. Amen. My father's children, that's a praise song. Amen. That's not just like, okay, I may not know the words. That's a praise song. So can we just go ahead and just sing a verse like we really mean it? That this is the day. Come on. Come on, I will. I will Come on, I will. that you have decided to worship, not just come here, but to worship God Almighty. Just say that out loud. God Almighty. Almighty. Say it one more time. God Almighty. Almighty. Just say it one more time. God Almighty. Almighty. 
Amen. When you declare that God is almighty, you have given him jurisdiction over every aspect of your life. That's why you can say with assurity, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 Go ahead. It won't work. Amen. Amen. It's going to fall. Amen. It's going to come up against you. That's right. But it won't work. Because you have already acknowledged that God is almighty. Yes, he is. There's nothing bigger than him. There's nothing greater than him. There's nothing wider than him. Nothing can go above him. Nothing can go under him. Nothing can get missed by him. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 And so that's why we are here on the day, amen, to give God the yes, praise. Lord. Amen. To give God the praise, whether or not you are, are homebound or whether or not you are here in the sanctuary, whether or not you are catching our YouTube presentation, amen, during the course of the week, amen. I'm here to let you know you are right on time. Amen. You are right on time because amen. God is right on time. Yes, he is. And we have a beautiful word for you on the day, a beautiful worship on the day. Amen. On tomorrow, amen, the country will be celebrating Martin Luther King. Yes, sir. Yes. Junior Day. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. The country will be celebrating it. Praise the Lord. We're going to put together a presentation for you on next Sunday. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know me. I mean, I make up my own calendar. Amen. amen. Martin Luther King Day is not just a holiday for us. That's amen. Right. Martin Luther King Day is a celebration of everything. Yeah. Amen. That our forefathers, our foremothers yeah. have sacrificed. Yeah. Amen. For us to be here on the day. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Every day for us is it is it is freedom day. Yeah. Every day for us, you know, is the day of triumph. That's right. Amen. Just because we wake up in, in, in the day and we have not lost our whole rotten mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, may hear me. Come on, you may lose some of it, but you ain't going to lose all of it. Come on, somebody. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. And so we are grateful, amen, that the country and the world itself will recognize the sacrifice of, you know, the peace movement, you know, you know, to make change within this world, within this country. And we have, we, the change is not complete yet. Amen. Amen. There's still much more work to be done. Amen. Amen. The struggle is not over. That's right. This means the fight is not over. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we all we all have our responsibilities inside this fight. Amen. No matter how big it is. No matter how much it may look like it's insignificant. That's right. Amen. The role you play in is significant in God's that's right. plan. That's right. That's right. Can I get a witness, somebody? Amen. And that's why, that's why this church won't give up. Absolutely. That's why this pastor won't give in. Come on, sir. Amen. That's why this pastor, amen, will always have vision and hope for tomorrow. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because nothing big. Big starts off big. Come on. Mm, amen. I just said something to y'all. Come on. Come amen. On. That's why I'm not discouraged on the day. Can't be. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because nothing huge in God's plan starts off huge. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. To me, this is a sign. Amen. Yeah. That God is at work. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, many people want to go to finished products. Amen. Praise the Lord. God already did the work. They had nothing to do with the growth of it. Amen. Yet they want to bask in it. Amen. Praise the Lord. But you got the privilege. Amen. To watch God do his thing. Amen. Amen. You got a chance to be what they call a witness. Come on, Pastor. Amen. To God's miracle working power within the confines of this church and the confines of this community. That's right. Amen. I'm here to let you know, get ready, get ready, get ready. That's not my hey. turn. That's what somebody else said down in Texas. But I'm going to use it on the day. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this time and we thank you, oh Father, for this opportunity of love, life, and happiness. 
And God, as we have spoken about, as we have said, as, as, as you have instructed us to open up our mouths, oh God, we give your name glory. We give your name praise. We ask, oh, Father God, that you will continue to come into this worship experience because somebody needs to hear a word from you. Somebody may be at their last end. Somebody, oh, Father God, may need some help desperately, but they just don't know how to act. Somebody, oh, Father God, may need a healing touch, amen, by their bedsides right now in the chair that they're sitting in, God. We thank you in advance for this in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Watch over us, oh Father God, and keep us in this experience. And we will make sure that your name receive all honor, your name receive all praise, your name will receive all glory. Hallelujah, 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 and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. We are so grateful, amen, to have our ministry blessings. I call them blessings, amen. They are more than just helpers, amen. They help us to set the table. I am so grateful to see one called Jessica Jones. Amen. Y'all can do better than that. Y'all can do better than that, amen. To see one called Jessica Jones, amen, to be in the house of the Lord one more time. She told me she was coming. Amen. I just say, Lord, Lord, if it be that, we will. <laughs> you know, because we don't cross our fingers and say, I hope so. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's we just right. say, Lord, I, I pray that it be that thy will. Amen. You know, let thy will be done. Amen. And she Amen. was, you know, she has come on today. Amen. We had, we had spoken before during the course of the week. Amen. And, um, you know, Sister Jessica's going through, through some challenges in her life. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you know what, Sister Jessica? Amen. Those challenges are over. My God. My Hallelujah. God. Amen. You shall be mobile. Yes, God. Amen. I'm speaking truth into your life right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What the enemy has tried to deny you, amen, God has put stamp approved. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And you shall have your wheels. Yes. Put your hands together, y'all. And I'm here to tell you, you're not going to have three wheels. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Those days are over with. Yes. Amen. You're going to have a four wheel. Some of you don't know what we're talking about, but amen, you will. Amen. In, in, in due season, you will. Well, four wheel. Amen. I'm gonna paint it all sorts of colors. Amen. I'm gonna, I, amen. I'm gonna have it look like a hot rod. Just gonna be. Amen. All sorts of voltage in, in it. Amen. I'm gonna have some mad tires on there. Come on. <laughs> amen. Put some rims. So you know, put some doom rims on it. Amen. <laughs> Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's on the way. I'm telling you. It's on the way. Praise the Lord. Amen. But while it's, you know, while we're waiting, do you think you can have a song for us at this time? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sister Jessica Jones going to bless us in song. Then after that, I'm going to come back in scripture. All of y'all sitting behind me, you have to act like y'all enjoying yourselves. <laughs> Don't be playing. Amen. <laughs> y'all on camera now. Good morning, girl. Good morning. 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 So then I really knew I had to be in today. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I was working with music.
children, you know, um, I've been working um, in the engineering architectural field for just as long as I have been passionate. Um, 
God has given me a passion for both of them. Um, of course, my passion for the word of God is beyond anything else. But I have learned over the years um, that you always need support. People always talk about foundations. But even foundations need support. All right? If a foundation doesn't have support, then there's not much of a foundation. So I always, I always said, you know, folks always say, well, we have to have a foundation. And, 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 I, and I said, well, you're skipping the step. You got to first make sure that you dig further down beyond where you want to put the foundation. And that's where your support will be at. I'm here to let you know that God got some support for you on the day. I'm here to show you beyond foundation work on today. Y'all receive that? Amen. 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 We, we just want to lift up a few scriptures. Amen. Um, open up the book, the good book, the book, um, the Holy Bible, the Holy Script. Open up the first Samuel 17th chapter. First Samuel 17th chapter. And we are not going, <laughs> the story is so long that we can't read the whole thing to you. But certainly, you should be familiar with it. And certainly, if you're not familiar with it, you will be familiar with it during the course of this message. Um, and also during the course of the week that I pray that you will go home and give the Lord more time in the Word with, it, with your own personal meditation. First Samuel 17 chapter, and we're going to start at the 50th verse. 1 Samuel 17th chapter 17 17 starting at the 50th verse when you have it say amen amen, amen. amen. praise the Lord God bless you sister Hesley how are you today I'm blessed. amen good if sister Joe's don't got the soul you, you gonna have to say amen, <laughs> amen. thank you Jesus Amen, amen, amen. Where the Lord be like this, and we didn't end the King James Version. So David prevailed over the Philistine with the sling and with stone, and with a stone that smote the Philistine and slew him. And there was no sword in his hand, hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out and out of the sleeve, the sheaf thereof, and slew him, and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And then the men of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistine until until thou come to the valley and to the gate of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistine fell down by the way of Shalem even unto God and Ekron. And the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistine, and there and they spoiled their ten tents. And they spoiled their tents. Praise the Lord. Amen. May the Lord add his richest blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. May he sanctify in your hearts by faith and thanksgiving. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. and amen. Praise the Lord. Um, we're going to ask, amen, Sister Hensley, you, you, you got this? Amen, Sister Joe's going to come back again, amen, and she's going to bless us again. Those of you that are sitting behind her, you got to smile again. <laughs> Praise the Lord, amen, which is easy because you're already blessed people. Amen. amen. You're already here to give, you know, amen. to give God praise, Amen. Amen. So put your hands together once again for Sister Jones. And then after that, we will come and we will give you this teaching, which I am oh, I am sure is going to bless you. Amen. Extremely bless you on today throughout your life. I believe this is a life-changing message. 
you will receive on the day. Amen. Sister Jones. Well, we're not going to have music this time. <laughs> uh, Amen. But I'm going to go on a while, so I feel like uh, uh, it's my responsibility. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, God keeps blessing me. You know, Amen. I have to, I'm just so thankful uh -huh. for everything. Uh -huh. I'm going to attempt to say something that's been on my mind. Um, just got to pray with me. Um, the windows of heaven are open. And the fire is rising tonight. Oh, I got joy, joy, joy in my soul. Since Jesus made everything right. Oh, he gave him my own filthy garment. And he gave me a robe of the white. That's why I'm wasting for matter of heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. Oh, that is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. Oh, I got joy, joy, joy in my soul. Since Jesus made everything right, you know He gave me a robe to on it, and He gave me a robe to provide. That's why I'm feasting no matter from heaven, and that's why I'm happy tonight. Oh, that is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. Oh, I got joy, joy, joy in my soul. Since Jesus made everything right. And you know he gave me my hope to think of it. And I gave me a hope of the right. That's why I'm feasting on matter from heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. Oh, that is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy. That is why I'm happy tonight. Oh, I got joy, joy. Joy in my soul, since Jesus made everything right. You know I gave him my own filthy garment. And he gave me a robe of the wild. That's why I'm feasting on matter from heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. That's why we're feasting on matter from heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. That's why I'm feasting on matter from heaven. That is why I'm happy tonight. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, amen. Come on, put your hands together. Give God the praise. Thank you, Sister Jessie, amen, for singing what was on your heart, amen. And, and I will ask that Sister Hensley will come forward at this time and bless us in song as we continue in our worship experience. Not on the, no, not on the program, was not planned, and yet we are in action, amen. We are taking action over what is transpiring right now. Amen. Sister Hensby, you can come on up and join me up here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's just another day that the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. He has kept me from all sin and evil. 
kept me with the mind stayed on Jesus just another day that Kept me. Oh, it's just another day that the Lord has blessed me. Just another day that the Lord has blessed me. Oh, Kept me with the mind, stayed on Jesus, just another day that the Lord has blessed me. I'm so glad that the Lord has kept me. I'm so glad that the Lord has kept me. Oh, he's kept me from all sin and evil. Kept me with a mind, stayed on Jesus. I'm so glad. That the Lord has blessed me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but thank. It's another day that the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the Lord has blessed me. It's just another day that the Lord has Bless me, he has kept me, he's kept me, he's kept me, he's kept me. It's just another day that the Lord has blessed me. Sing another song or to suggest it. Thank you so much for that.
Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I lay my burdens down. Oh, I feel better, so much better, since I lay my burdens down. I feel better, so much better since I laid my burdens down. My friends don't treat me like they used to since I laid my burdens down. My friends don't treat me how they used to since I laid my burdens down. Oh, burdens down, Lord, burdens down, Lord, since I laid my burdens down. Burdens down, Lord, burdens down, Lord. Since I lay my burdens down. Amen. 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 All right, let me give the congregation an update. For those of you that are at home, I know you are wondering what is going on. And let me explain to you what happened. Um, off camera, um, as you know, we was worshiping God, I noticed that Sister Sandra Green was slumped over. And I waited for a few seconds to see whether or not she was picking something up off the floor. She didn't move. That's when I ran to her, and that's what happened. Perhaps the sugar dropped. Perhaps it was too high. We don't know. But what we did do, we acted as a church family. Amen. We all worked together. Yes. Amen. And at this particular time, she is now on her way to the hospital. All her signs and vitals are fine, all right? But as a precautionary note, we said, go on ahead, take her to the hospital, get checked out. I want to thank those of you that was in this congregation on how you jumped into action, whether or not you physically jumped or you went to your prayer tents. It all worked together for good. Amen. Amen. Obviously, amen, the message that I have prepared for you today, I am not in a place to give it to you all today. Amen. You know, um, you know, everything has shifted. And um, I'm, I'm not, you, you know, I, I want to be an example, not a perfect example. All right, but I'm going to be a you know example that is real with you. And so she is my preacher steward. I'm shook. I have faith, but I'm shook. You understand what I'm saying? Just like if it was one of you, I'm shook. You know, I, I want to. I you know when you see something like that, it should impact you if you have any type of emotion or any type of sensitivity or love or feelings for somebody. So you cannot just pretend nothing happened. And I think that's part of why we wind up where we wind up at is because we're always trying to pretend that there's nothing going wrong or on with us. Or well, there's nothing wrong. Amen. And so and so I, I, I just want to let you know I'm okay, but I'm not all right. You understand what I'm saying? I'm good. But I'm, I'm not the same that I was, that I can just go ahead and just tell you, yeah, let me just continue on like nothing 
has transpired. You know, my mind is like, I need to get to the hospital. I'm a shepherd. Amen. My mind is, I got to go to the hospital where she's at. Amen. Make sure that she's covered. Amen, somebody? Praise the Lord. All right? But, you know, the word of the Lord must be shared always. But I don't have to be, I don't have to give you 30 minutes worth of it today. Praise the Lord. Everything that's transpired was part of this sermon. All right, because I did not intend to preach this scripture, but this, which I'm about to give to you in about 10 minutes. All right, it was not on my itinerary. It was not on site, but watch what God is about to do. This was not planned, but I'm, I'm, I'm completely dependent on the Holy Spirit to help me and to help you in a situation like this. Okay, I'm, I'm a living example you know, you know what they say. This is not film. Right. This is not edited. This is the real thing. All right. So now, flip to the scripture in the New, New Testament. Amen. Very quickly. Amen. To the gospel according to Luke. Amen. The uh, uh, will you turn to the eighth chapter, please? Gospel according to Luke, the eighth chapter. Yes. Starting at the 22nd verse. Praise the Lord. Luke, the eighth chapter. Starting at the 22nd verse. I want to thank this. This, you know, God works some things out, don't he? Yeah, Sister Hensley here today. Sister Jesse here today. You know, our, our tech crew that's working from behind the scene, they doing what they're doing. And, um, you know, was able to fill in for us while we was attending to other responsibilities. Thank you so much. Put your hands together for them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We love you. Amen. We love you. We love you. We love you. And, and so this tells you that you can't do it by yourself, right? can't do it by yourself. The way of the Lord, and remember, this is not something that I planned. I'm not going to give you a whole bunch of stuff. It's just something I pray that will be a blessing to you, because right, I need God to bless me right now. Amen. All right? Now it came to pass a certain day that they went out into a ship with the disciples. He said unto them, let us go into the other side of the lake, and they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm or wind on the lake, and, and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid, wondered, saying, or one to another, what manner of man is this? For he commanded even the winds and the water, and they obey him. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and, you know, if I had to find something, you know, to give this a topic, something as a name. Amen. It's an, it's an emergency to you, but there's no surprise to God. It's an emergency to you, but it is no surprise to God. Come on, somebody. Right, I'm just preaching right off the cuff. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is this is what I know. All right. Our Father and God, we thank you for this time and the opportunity to share thy word. Hide me behind the cross. The men and women won't see me. They will see thee. Open this mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, which I'm ambassador of bars. And then and I may speak boldly as I ought to speak in Jesus Christ the Lord, we pray. Amen. 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 And, you know, it's an emergency to you, but it's no surprise to God. Now, 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 you know, this whole scenario here, all right, you know, we had a level of expectation of what was going to happen on the day. Right? Right? You know, but no way in the world were we were prepared for what transpired. Yeah. And I'm, gonna, I'm here to tell you that this happened and it's not going to be the last time this happened not here in this church or here in your lives. You know, you're always going to have surprises or emergencies 
that is going to spring up in your life. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 You can look back over your life and see all the emergencies that you had to deal with. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and, you know, depending upon who you are and what you've been reading and what you've been receiving in your life, amen, is the way that you will respond to those emergencies. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And just as an example, praise the Lord, uh, you know, you know, you could be like the disciples. Praise the Lord that you have the, you know, the son of God. You have the living God in the flesh. Amen. In the same boat with you. Praise the Lord. And, and, and you know, we're supposed to emulate the Lord. Right? And, and, and while the storm was going on, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus was asleep in the back of the boat. Watch this. Jesus was asleep in the back of the boat. It was storming. The, the boat was taking on water. Amen. Amen. And, and they was afraid that they was going to die. Amen. By drowning. Meaning that they was concerned about the boat. Amen. Being capsized. I mean, the Bible says there was wind. There was, you know, it, it's, it's like being caught in a hurricane in a rowboat. Amen. In the middle of the sea. And there's nowhere to go. Amen. And so there was all panicking, and, you know, for their very lives. And then in the midst of all that panic, praise the Lord, it did not wake up the master. Somebody hear me now. Amen. That's something to tell you right now that God does not respond to your fears. No, you missed it. Can I talk to you one more time? God does not respond, amen, to your panic attacks. Oh, I'm talking to somebody in here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can panic. You can bug out. You can do whatever you want to do. Amen. That does not get God up. The Bible says, amen, that he remained asleep. Amen. While it was still storming, while it was still raining, while the boat was about to capsulate, and probably he was sleeping in a puddle of water. Can I get a witness, somebody? And yet, all of that did not disturb God. Come on. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And I want to let you know, amen, that if God is not disturbed, why are you? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling this power right now. And if God is not disturbed, why are you, amen, disturbed? Amen. And if he's asleep, you ought to be at rest. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Even in the midst of all this, amen, praise the Lord. Amen, 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 amen. I, you, know, I, you know, I jumped on it, amen, but I knew, amen, I had to remain calm. Because we just got finished praising him. We just got finished, you know, lifting him up. We just got finished declaring he's almighty. So how can you declare that he's almighty then all of a sudden panic when something happens in front of you? Oh no, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah, somebody. I don't know how the story's going to end. Amen. But I do know, amen, that God deserves the praise. God deserves the honor. God deserves the glory. Now, now, very quickly, a, a, amen, there's something here, amen, that is entirely unusual. Amen, entirely unusual. Amen, Jesus is in the midst of a storm along with the rest of the disciples. They are afraid they are going to die. Praise the Lord. Amen, and for good reason, too. Because if I was in the middle of that water with everybody else, amen, I know I can't drink all this water. And I know good of you, well, I can't swim that far. I know I'm not by myself. So I don't blame them, amen, you know, for, for, for their reaction. Amen, but there's something to be learned here. Praise the Lord, because, because, because remember, the wind didn't wake him up. The rain didn't wake him up. The storm and the thunder and the lightning didn't wake him up. What woke him up was one of his disciples coming and shaking him up. And I have to let you know somebody, amen. The only way that he will get up is if you reach out and touch him. Mm. Come on, somebody. Amen, amen, amen. They had to wake him up. They had to reach out and touch him. See, a lot of times, amen, when we get into these places, we isolate ourselves. Can I talk to you? 
Amen. We isolate ourselves. Amen. We, 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 we cut ourselves off from other people. Amen. But I'm here to tell you, if you cut yourself off from other people, don't cut yourself off from God. God is right there. He's ready and willing, amen, to be touched by you and to be awakened by you and to be called into action by you. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm preaching to y'all right now. Amen. I'm preaching to y'all from my heart because I know this is what's worth the truth. Amen. And you need to ca catch this. Amen. And that's the first thing that I realized. And that's why I had to share this with you very quickly. Amen. Because you got to understand. Amen. That, that Jesus is almighty. Amen. That's because they didn't recognize him as almighty. He knew who he was. Come on somebody. Amen. But at the same time. He knew, amen, what was really behind the wind, the rain, the thunder, the lightning, and, and what was happening. Look at this. The disciples was amazed because he got up and the Bible says this. I want you to listen to me very closely. Listen to me. He rebuked the wind. You got it, right? Yeah. He rebuked the, the wind. He rebuked the storm. Now he didn't tell it just to stop. Because all he had to do was tell it to stop. And it would have stopped. But when you use the word rebuke, it's a spiritual warfare thing. Did somebody hear me? When you, when you hear that word rebuke, amen, you're talking about spiritual warfare going on right now. Hallelujah. Amen. And so when he got up and he analyzed what was going on around him, amen, he didn't worry about what the weather report was saying on Eyewitness News. That wasn't important to him. He's not a weather forecaster. He's not a weatherman. He is the captain of, of the sea. He is the lily of the valley. He is the bright and morning star. And when he got up, amen, he didn't just get up as a man. He got up as God. And he declared and decreed a thing and says, I rebuke you. In the name, in my name, I rebuke you. Meaning that he was rebuking the spiritual entity that was behind the storm. And I want you to know every storm that you may encounter in your life, there's a spiritual entity behind that. And you need to stop looking at the rain. You need to stop looking at the wind. You need to stop looking at the lightning. You need to stop listening to the thunder and, and begin to see the principality that is behind the storm. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because that storm was designed to take them out. Yes. But what the enemy has made for your detriment, God used for your elevation. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When something happens and you're not cognizant, the first thing you need to do is see the entity behind what's going on. I didn't have to say it out loud. But what was ever going on inside this corner, I had to rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Declare, hey, you're fine. There ain't nothing wrong with you. Amen. This ain't your season to move on right now. No. Amen. No. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I also understand that this emergency and, and our eyes did not surprise God. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and whatever may try to spring up in your life, it may, it may be an emergency at that moment, but you better know and understand by this word right now, by this living example right now, that this is not surprising God. See the entity that's behind what's happening and rebuke the spiritual entity. It's underneath my feet. Yes. 
Hallelujah. And may we more than conquerors in him who has made me. I got the victory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. And, And no matter what it is, no matter what form it may be, Amen. Jesus has already conquered it. Yes. Has already conquered it. Has already conquered it. Has already conquered them that is using it yes. to scare you. Yes. God has not given me a spirit of fear, Amen. but of power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Yes, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our Father and our God, we thank you. Thank you. And we praise your name and your glory. Yes, we thank you, O oh God, for this was a, a emergency to us. But this whole thing was by your design. This was by your setup. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. We thank you, O Father God, that we are rebuking, O Father God, the spirit that was behind this. We rebuke that spirit even right now in the name of Jesus. And God, we declare and we become the man that this spirit won't enter into this building again in Jesus' name. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to lift up our offering. Amen. Um, Please, everyone, give as God has given unto you. The wonderful thing about using the gift of our half is that it keeps me honest. I hope it keeps you on this too because as soon as I get my paycheck, I know I have to get my tithes. And I get my tithes, I get my offering. My faith seed offering, I still need to get my faith seed offering. Amen, I give that when I get back to the house. Praise the Lord. But give as God has given unto you. You have blessed this church with your offerings. And we are so very grateful. Um, the Gimify is an app. You can download that app, put in the Door Main Design Church information. You will see a picture of the back of the sanctuary as well as a picture of myself. You arrive at the right place, follow the instructions, give as, as God's given unto you. We also is on Cash App. Amen. It's up on the screen. Doom A M E uh, C Church is our Cash App, or you can mail your checks to 1891 Extra Avenue, Bayshore, New York. 11706 or P.O. Box 562, Bayshore, New York, 11706. Um, and to just thank you so much for your giving. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this offering that you bestowed upon us. Bless it as you have blessed the bread and the fishes on the side of the mountain so that it may go to the multitude of responsibilities that we have in maintaining your house and going beyond our walls and reaching others for for, um, the kingdom of God. We thank you for this in Jesus Christ, the Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. I know, Sister Kim, you do have a announcement for us, or a few announcements. Sister Kim, would you please come forward at this time? Good morning, Durham Church family. So just a couple of announcements. As a reminder, we have church school. Bible study on tomorrow at 7.30. Your church school lesson has been emailed out. If anyone did receive it, please email the church email at Church at gmail.com and we will get you a copy of it. Um, also, please be advised that on, as Reverend Edwards mentioned, on next Sunday we will have a special presentation about Martin Luther King, but also on June 21st at 3 p.m., um, Reverend Kathy and the St. Paul Annie Zion Church will be holding a Martin Luther King Day Junior Observance. 
and it will be at 119 Steamboat Road in Great Neck. And it's called It Starts With Me, Shifting the Culture Through the Practice of Nonviolence. The program starts at 3 p.m. And their guest speaker will be Terrence Floyd, our former drummer. He will be speaking um, as part of the We Are Floyd um, organization. So we're asking that everyone would be able to, who was able to would uh, be in attendance to support Reverend Kathy um, on this event. Also, um, another announcement from the um, Long Island District is that they are asking that people who are able to the youth ministry of the um, WHMO Society. They're collecting ties. Ties that we would like to donate. Um, you can give them to Sister Turner. And um, those are in the, uh, also remember that every Wednesday at 1 p.m. we have midday midweek prayer. Those are announcements. Amen. Thank you so much, Sister Kim. Praise the Lord. Amen. And, um, you know, that's one thing that I, I know that we will always do. We always rise to the occasion. Amen. So even, you know, with these announcements again or next week, uh, I, you know, we definitely want to support our First Lady in her pastoral ministry and uh, in the celebration of Dr. King um, with our son. He's the son of this church. You know, you know, I was about to call him the Reverend Terrence Floyd, amen. <laughs> amen, Brother Terrence Floyd, amen. He played right here on this drum set. One of the last things that we did was we sold a crib into his life before his brother was brutally taken out of this world. You know, we sold the crib into his life for his newborn baby. That's dope. Yeah. You know, you know, we may not have to have all, all our lights up and you know, all our names being bantered about, but God uses us. Yeah. Amen. And God has used us to strengthen that young man, yeah. you know, for what was in front of him that we did not know. Yeah. But he got his strength here, you know, in the Lord with us. Amen. Right. Just like you are. Amen. Because you never know what God is about to do in your life. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for that. We, you know, we pray for that program on next week. Pray for our own program on this week. And we're about to close out this worship experience. I pray that this be a blessing unto you. Um, please forgive me. I'm going to grab my coat and straight out the door. Yeah. Amen. I need to be about my father's business. Amen. 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 So thank you again. I look forward to seeing you on next week. You never know what will happen. <laughs> Amen. 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 We will make the appropriate plans. But God will always have the last say. Amen. Amen. God will always have the last say.